Well, from stand-up to social media to TV, Esther Povitsky is carving out a space all her own in the comedy scene. Now that includes her hilarious new movie, Drugstore June, where she stars as a wannabe influencer turned amateur detective as she takes it upon herself to investigate a robbery at the pharmacy where she works. Take a look. You gotta stop. What? You have got to stop. Stop what? S stalking me online. I thought that blocking you and unfriending you would send a message, but you keep making these burner profiles. What? No, those aren't me. Who else would be June Loves Boba? <laughs> and Esther is with me now. Welcome, Esther. So good to see you. <laughs> I want to hide after that a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. First of all, this is hilarious. I was Thank laughing you. out loud watching this. I feel like if anyone's having a bad day, they need to watch this movie. Thank you. It'll make them feel better about themselves. I think it'll make them feel better. <laughs> and just maybe just get out of their own headspace for a minute. Because so you really nail this like influencer era, which is frightening, this whole influencer era. But you, you co-wrote it. It is semi-inspired by your life, which is a bold um, acknowledgement. Yes. Because yes. she's a little crazy. So tell me about it. What did you draw from? Well, um, I was dumped uh, 15 years ago. and <laughs> Still maybe, holding on. Yeah, maybe 17 years ago. Who's counting? <laughs> but um, it's, a, it's inspired by when I was broken up with my high school ex, and I really, had a, I really struggled to get over it. Obviously, I've been in a lot of therapy since then. <laughs> um, do I still drive past his house? I have to stop admitting the real answer. But, you know, it was inspired by that relationship. And we worked at Johnny Rockets together. And so in this movie, we, there's a little diner Freddy's. situation. Freddy's, as yep. you know, as you watched it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think just sort of being a little bit too obsessed, too yeah. hung up on a guy. It happens. Yes, you, it happens. They block you on phone and Facebook, and it's, that happens. And then it hurts your feelings, and then you work overtime. You work it. overtime, <laughs> yes, for it. years and years. <laughs> yes. Look, I'm engaged, I'm pregnant, I've moved on, but there's something still going on in there. You still drive by once <laughs> in a while. Listen, so let's talk about June. She's got her June squad. Um, she's got, uh, I don't, how many, let me just ask you this. How many followers does June have in your head? That's so funny. Everyone wants to know this because we never show the Because <laughs> I was screen. waiting at the end. I'm like, how many followers? I, I'm, a, I'm picturing two. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, like, on June's live streams, there's uh, the range is, like, from 17 to 43 viewers. Okay. So it's she, better than I expected. Yeah, it's really good. you got to be honest. For what yeah. she's giving, it's great. For what she's giving, <laughs> yes. I mean, you wonder what they're tuning in for. But yeah. <laughs> we read that you had, like, the music of, like, Taylor Swift and Lana Del Rey in mind when you were playing this character. So what would be on her playlist absolutely um anti-hero by taylor swift i listen to that like driving to the set every morning and driving home every night and then lana has been such an inspiration to me like lyrically because she's so crazy <laughs> and um when she released her last album she put a billboard up only one in her ex's hometown and I sent that to all the producers. I was like, guys, <laughs> I'm not the only crazy lover girl. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, well, she's not the most likable character. And even at one point, you say it's not a crime to have a bad personality when you're being interrogated. It's not. Um, it's not but, illegal. But you have said that your creative voice kind of lives in that, like, unlikable space. Why? What, do you, what fascinates you about that? Okay, so I think I read, like, 15 years ago that if you have, like, a full face, you're likable and I have that so I was like oh I I'm like the perfect science experiment to see like how many bad things I can get away with and like that's really inspired my comedy <laughs> and also I just feel like I want people to watch this and then feel better about themselves okay. and I want to be real you know I'm yes. I'm not I'm not those good things that we see on like the good movies I'm not I'm not. Says who, Esther? <laughs> 
says who? But, <sighs> but listen, um, you, one of your favorite things to do, in, or one of June's favorite things to do, is eat in this yeah. movie too. Like I feel like June is eating in every scene or yeah. talking about food. Is this something like? Did you come up with that? Was that part of her like character development? So I am a lover girl. I'm also an eater girl. Um, in fact, famously, I've never tried alcohol because I've always felt like I loved cupcakes too much, and I <laughs> was already struggling with that addiction. I was like, I can't even try. Like, yes. can't even step outside this danger but, zone. It's so scary, dangerous. Yeah. Um, so I love, I love eating, and we even on set one day had a, a cinnamon roll that cost us a thousand dollars because it was really big but we never made it to the camera. Well, I can understand now because you're eight months pregnant. You gotta come back and we'll talk about uh, what's gonna happen now that you have a baby. Oh no, what do you mean? You can store in select theaters now and nationwide starting tomorrow. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank too. you. Yeah.